Good evening. My name is Ms. Cynthia, and I am your MYP coordinator for Fairview International School, Subang Jaya, and I will also be your MC for today's event. We are very happy that all of you can come and join us today for this wonderful presentation by our primary year student. And with me today is Ms. Munira, our Fairview Subang Jaya PYP coordinator. Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. And it's nice to see that we have some support for Akash coming in here from his classmates. Thank you for coming. Okay. So without further ado, um, we will continue with um, welcoming everybody, um, friends and families of Akash. Uh, classmates also, Ms. Munira said so just now, they are classmates of Akash here too. Okay, welcome everyone to today's talk. Okay, just a little bit of background. Today's talk is brought to you by Fairview International School Subanjaya under our Breakthrough Series. Um, a few of you may have already heard or participated in our Breakthrough Series talk that we have started actually in April this year. And this is um, our newest uh, member to this series of talks or webinars. Normally we will have talks held by teachers and school principals and um, school leaders, but in Breakthrough Talk, we have a specialty whereby the talks are given by students themselves. So we are special in that sense. Okay, but before, allow me to give some simple housekeeping notices. Um, Ms. Munira, the next slide, please. Before we begin, I would like to explain about the meeting etiquette. Um, upon joining the meeting, we would appreciate it if all of you here could mute your microphone and listen to the presenter. If you have any questions or any feedbacks, please type them in the chat and our speakers or myself and Ms. Monira will address them in the end of the webinar or throughout. Lastly, if you are called, we will have sessions where we will interact with the audience. If your names are called, then please unmute yourself and start talking. And with these simple steps, I hope that all of us will be able to enjoy a pleasant webinar experience. And on behalf of my team, we would like to thank each and every one of you for following and observing the meeting etiquette. So Akash, I hope you're ready. Ms. Munira, all yours. Good luck, Akash. Hello, my name is and I'm a primary four student from Fairview International School, Subang Campus. Today, I will share with you why I love maths, especially why I love learning it the IB way at school. I will also tell you about how maths powers our daily life and the world around us. Hopefully, my presentation will show you why we should not fear maths, even though it can be sometimes difficult. Before I start, let me ask all of you, do you think you are weak at maths? You always say I'm not a maths person. Do you fear maths? Can you type your answer in the chat box? Okay, do we have fear of maths? Put your feedback here. What do we think of maths overall? For those of us who are a little bit elder or who finished school many years ago, you can recall on your uh, childhood memories. And the students, you can share your uh, ideas. Oh, we have math lovers here. So some say math is tough. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. That's a good feedback. My mommy was like that too. <laughs> Growing up, yes. she was afraid of maths. Mm -hmm. She told me she didn't have in, enjoy learning maths. She, she did not learn maths in a fun and in, interesting way. Not like how I'm learning maths today at Fairview. <laughs> Hi. 
for those of you who said you fear maths, let me ask you, do you love art? Do you love music and poetry? Do you like to play games like chess? Or online games like Minecraft or Roblox? Or to watch movies? Do you like sports? Do you like to spend time in nature? Do you like to travel? Go on car trips on the road or take an aeroplane to another country? Do you like to admire the amazing architecture of buildings like Petronas Twin Towers? I love all these things too, but do you know that Matt powers all these things? Let me show you how. You may be surprised to know that Matt is used a lot in art. In the 1400s, some artists created the illusion of 3D depth in a 2D painting by applying geometry. Geometry is the study of shapes, size, and space. These artists are play, applied an effect called the vanishing point. So objects near this point may seem far away. The way objects are arranged and framed in a painting or photo is called composition. Many artists use a simple rule called the rule of thirds. They mentally use two horizontal and two vertical lines to divide up the canvas so that it produces nine squares or rectangles. Studies show that when people look at the image, their eyes don't naturally go to the center. They go to the point where the lines intersect. So artists often place the most important parts of an image on the lines or, the, or at the intersections. You love music and poetry. Music has been described as the joy that people feel when they are counting and don't know it. Most music and poetry is based on repeated number patterns. For example, the repeating pattern of a long and short notes in a music piece prompts the rhythm. Different music styles and poem and poems have different rhythms. Fractions also are also used in music as musical notes are divided into bars or measures. Some bars have many quick notes. Some have only one or two long notes. You know what all mathematicians have in common? They study patterns. Does anyone here play chess? Let me know in the chat box. So we have players who are very good with game of chess here in the audience. Here, audience, you can put yes, most to, oh yes, some no. So I think we will have a, a members of audience who are quite familiar with chess and some who are not. Now let's see, Akash, what would you like to share about the chess game? <laughs> well, I love playing I chess. Excited. To be good at chess, you also have to understand the many patterns of play found in the game of chess. Many match concepts are used in the game of chess. Moves on the chessboard use a coordinate system. And geometric, and geometric concepts like files, rows, diagonals. Chess requires constant calculation, as you need to predict and anticipate consequences of your moves. It develops visual memory and spatial reasoning skills. Dear audience, let me ask you a question. Do you all like to play online games? What's your favorite one? Please put your answer in the chat box. Oh, this one. I expect a Roblox from the students coming in. Do we have any candy crashers here from the parents? from earlier days or Pokemon catchers. Excuse uh -huh, me, teacher, like... but my daddy plays Candy Crush. Oh, okay. High five. <laughs> okay. Most of it, yes, we have a lot who enjoy playing games. It's from students just like you, Akash. So what about the games and online games? What about them? What, where can we find maths there? I like Minecraft. Hmm. 
Let me tell you about the max concepts behind online games. One is one, can, but can 10 be 1010? Yes, it can. Thanks to the system of binary numbers invented by Gottfried Leibniz. Binary numbers is what made modern computers, smartphones, and digital technology possible. Computing memory is made up of switches that can be either on or off. Use one to tell the switch to be on and zero to tell it to be off. All data can be converted into binary. So the rules of maths lie be behind every computer game you've ever played. Maths principles like geometry, vectors, transformations, mat matrices, and physics are used to code these games. Today, code is also used in passwords and ciphers to protect our personal information online. You like to, you like watching movies. A movie scene would look boring if all the shots were taken from the same angle. So, in any scene, a director might use several different camera angles. There may be a close-up one of the actor's face, then a shot of another actor over the first actor's shoulder. However, every time the camera angle changes, the two characters in the same scene must always have the same left and right relationship to each other. That way, the shot does not confuse the viewers. The director achieves this by following the 180 degree rule. In sports, there are numbers on jerseys and scoreboards, but math is also used in Many other ways here. Basketball players need to master angles when shooting the ball. The ball follows a special kind of curve called the called a parabola. The bigger the angle, the easier it is for the ball to go through the hoop. Angles are also important in sports like golf and figure skating. For football and baseball, coaches and players analyze data to predict what will happen and decide which players to use and find the best ways to win. Many fascinating forms found in the in nature. Numbers in the special Fibonacci sequence offer and appear in nature. In parts of a pine cone, petals of a flower, seeds at the center of a sunflower. The golden ratio shows us how you can draw a special spiral from a series of golden rectangles of increasing size. Spirals are a simple way for things in nature to grow. Snail shells, flowers, plants, and even hurricanes and galaxies. Animals come in all shapes and sizes, but many have bodies that so show symmetry, like bilateral symmetry in a butterfly, radial symmetry in a starfish, Fractals are shapes that repeat themselves at different scales. Forming complex patterns like tree branches, fern leaves, or even my favorite, broccoli. Many of the world's most important inventions and scientific discoveries are based on maps. The transportation that we use and the navigation system could not have been invented without maps. Golden triangles are used in the design of ancient Greek temples and also modern buildings. Engineers today also use triangles, another tough structure, and many bridges, buildings, or other structures, like the ancient pyramids. Actually, every day we use maths and think like mathematicians without realizing it. Mathematics teaches to reason, for example, when I am Trying to convince my mom that I didn't use all, all my Saturday iPad time, usually one hour, because the four videos I watch did not add up to 60 minutes. Until my mom also uses maths to remind me that some I spend some time searching for these videos. We think my mathematicians when we are shopping, deciding what to buy based on price and size, and using money to pay for things we buy. We use maths when we measure ingredients to cook a meal or bake a cake. And thinking about how to divide that cake equally between all our family 
embers and when we fight over who gets the bigger piece. We also think like mathematicians when we look at the time to see when they have to sign in for online classes. When we fill out our car with petrol on the way to the park, when weighing ourselves or when we are measuring the space in our garden to plant vegetables. There's so many reasons why I love maths. Like I showed you earlier, maths is all around us and in everything we do. Maths helps me to learn how to solve problems and is useful to me in real life. I like that even though there's one right answer for each problem, there are many ways to find the answer. Also learning maths, the IB way is very fun and always interesting. Let me show you why in the next few slides. My mom and I did a small chart to summarize what I learned earlier this year at school. In our school, we learn things across different subjects in a transdisciplinary way. Every term, we explore a few units of inquiry across different transdisciplinary themes. When I was in primary three last year, we did a science and social science unit of inquiry where we learned about structures. What are structures? Natural and man-made structures. Famous structures around the world and in Malaysia. How structures are built, what materials are used, and their properties. Also about magnets. In maths, the related things we learned about were 2D and 3D shapes. How structures are also 3D shapes. How to calculate space using formulas for parameter and area. And how to map location using a Cartesian plane. From the end of unit, assessment project, I had to build a model of a modern house using a 3D design software. This, using this model, I had to show all the concepts that I learned and how they came together. I showed this by using Book Creator, another, another digital tool that my teacher taught us to use. Now let me show you, you my project. Oh, I see. So here we have uh, the plan that you put together for your project and you talked about the materials. Very nice work you put here, Akash. Even function and design, the pros and cons of it. Mm -hmm. Ah, I see something from Matt here. What is it? Akash, would you like to share a little bit more on this part? Here are the 2D and 3D shapes used in my modern home. Stru structure on the right side right hand side here are the mat lines and angles used in my model this other page here shows the location of things around the house identified by coordinates on a cartesian plane this an assessment project i did in november 2020 on habitats and animal adaptations. I had to do research on my chosen habitat, the polar region, and the animals living there. I created a diorama on this during art lessons. Then for maths, I did a data sheet showing the fractions or happy fractions relating to math, to, relating to the animals and plants I showed in my diorama. For example, I showed 10 polar animals in my diorama. So since there are two polar bears, the heavy fraction relating to them is two over 10 or two tens. I created a poster to discuss the animal adaptations, issues relating to human activities and the impact of these activities on the stated habitat. I also had to propose some solutions and share, it, share all these materials in a video presentation. Our teachers also regularly encourage us to make anchor charts and cheat sheets on maths concepts that we learn so we can remember them better and think about how they're used in real life. My twin sister Isha who's in primary three also did some interesting work relating to maths at school. Here's a recent poster that she did introducing herself using maths. Here's another maths and art activity that Isha did recently on maths tessellations. 
This was supposed to help her remember her three time tables. Tessellations are repeating patterns based around the design drawn in a square, rectangle, triangle, or hexagon. Hexagon. Tessellating shapes fit nearly to neatly together, without any gap. You can find them in wrapping paper, wallpaper, and fabric patterns. Math is not always easy to do. Sometimes the problems are difficult to solve. At our school, we focus on cultivating good qualities through our IB learner profiles. IB learner profiles like risk taker, open-minded inquirer, help me to find the courage, confidence, and curiosity to approach new and difficult things in a positive way. Learning how to be reflective, a thinker and knowledgeable is also very useful in math and life. Here are some tips for solving difficult math problems. One, always practice math problems daily. I do my school math homework and common math worksheets every day. This helps me to see common patterns in math problems and get better at solving particular problems. Eat an, number two, eat an elephant one bite at a time. When you encounter a difficult math problem, don't be scared. Break it down into smaller problems and solve the parts that you know first, then slowly work your, work your way through the more difficult parts. Be open-minded and stay positive. Don't give up easily. Try to look for different solutions for example, if you're, so, if you're solving a multiplication problem and you don't know your time table very well, you can always use the repeat addition method. But it may take longer, but you can still get the answer. And if you really need it, you can always ask your teacher or mom and dad for help. They can explain the solution to you so that you can learn from it and be able to do the same problem better next time. Human beings are actually born mathematicians. As we are born physical and try to understand the patterns around us, many of us probably learn how to count before we even learn to read. I end my presentation here with a quote from Indian mathematician Shakuntala Devi. Without mathematics, there's nothing you can do. Everything around you is mathematics. Everything around you is numbers. I hope that all of you will love math and enjoy as much as I do. Thank you. Thank you, Akash. That was a very insightful and wonderful presentation. I really enjoyed it. Um, let us give a floor to Miss Cynthia for a moment before we have our reflection moment together. Uh, Miss Cynthia, you're muted. Good job, Akash, on that inspiring presentation. Um, I've learned quite a number of things from you. Okay, I'm impressed that a PYP children, a child is um, aware of the golden ratio, which is something that we talk about in biology in the MYP. So good job, Akash. Okay. Um, you have shown indeed to all our audience how amazing math is and that math is truly magic. Thank you for sharing all those mathematic tips with all of us. I'm sure some, those of us in the audience agree. I've read in a message some people were saying they wish they knew some of those tips when they were still in school. So for the rest of you um, out there still in PYP, um, those of you who are Akash's uh, classmates, I'm sure that you will pick a point or two to help you in your maths lesson in the future. Now, if you all agree with me that Akash has done a great job, please give a thumbs up in your chat. Okay, thumbs up everyone. Okay, so here in Fairview International School, students learn multiple skills, not just academically, like what Akash have shown, but they also enhance what they are good at 
um, as they go through their learning journey. So Akash was a very good example of this. He enjoyed mathematics and he is now working on his communication skill and his public speaking skills. Okay, so he's making himself a very holistic learner. Now let us all give Akash another round of applause. Okay, thank you, Akash. Good job. Um, before we begin, yes, Akash, is that you? Thank you. Thank you, dear. Now, before we begin our reflection, I would like to invite the principal of Fairview International School, Subang Jaya, Ms. T, to say a word or two to Akash and our audience for today. Ms. T? Hello, good evening. Thank you so much. Akash, what is your feeling now? Happy. Happy. Why are you so happy? Because I finished. Because? I finished. You finished <laughs> finish your presentations. Do you like your presentation so far? Yes. Yes. You know what the best thing that you have done? I, I believe that many of us are actually scared of mathematics, like what you say. Don't be scared. Try to look for solutions. So I think that is very inspiring. And we learn a lot from you. And uh, I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the parents, students, so for your attendance and participation today. We'd like to welcome you to know more about Fairview and through our students' Break to Talks. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Akas. Great job. Thank you, Ms. E. We feel so proud of you. Okay, thank you, Ms. T, for that warm words of encouragement to Akash and to the rest of the uh, audience. Before we begin, I would um, like to invite a few of Akash's classmates. Um, I think Sarah, Miss Monira, is Sarah a classmate? Um, Miss Sarah is a mommy of one of his. No, no, classmates. Sarah Wignesh, uh, not Sarah. What's her name? Sanelli. Uh, Sanelli, yes. Yes, Sanelli. Ah, Sanelli, you were our previous breakthrough talk speaker. Would you like to share your feedback about Akash? How did he do today? Sanelli, are you here? Would you like to share your feedback to Akash, to your friend? I think maybe her connection is not so good. Sorry. Okay. Um, but I know for sure that you have your teacher here, Miss Hazel. Miss Hazel, could we invite you to give some feedback of Akash? Hello, Akash. So uh, glad to be here. Good afternoon or good evening, everyone. Uh, first and foremost, Akash, congratulations. I have always known that you have the ability. Now you have actually, aside from that, the confidence to speak to the public. So this is like a welcome development. So um, I'm so happy to be one of your previous teachers as you have showcased one of your um, um, project there in your summative assessment. I feel so proud actually, like I have contributed to your development. So thank you. and. Um, at at the same time, as I have been telling you, keep on improving, okay? And you will achieve more. You have the capacity and you have a very great mind, okay? Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Hazel. Thank you, Ms. Hazel. Um, we would like to invite Akash's mommy, Madam Lishian. What do you think about Akash's um, presentation today? He has worked really hard for this. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi, yeah. madam. Um, yeah, thank you, everybody. And thank you for giving him this opportunity um, to do this because I think more than anything, um, 
I think I'm very grateful for the school and all his teachers present and past because they actually helped him grow in, in many ways. And I think to me, the real breakthrough today is actually he can actually, um, because Matt's a bad subject, I think the very fact that he can talk in a public platform is a big breakthrough for him. Um, because he's a very, very, if you know him, you will know that he's a very introverted child. He, he is the one when he first started school, he cried every day for about one month. <laughs> He cried every day for one month. I remember this. And I always used to think Isha would be the one with the problem, but it's not. It's actually Akash. And he cried every day for one month. And he would even tell me to tell his teacher not to tell him to stop crying because he said <laughs> he's very anxious. So so I feel like I feel this is a big breakthrough, even more than any academic achievement or whatever, because I feel like this is the personal growth. It is more meaningful because you you had something that is uh, you're not in your comfort zone and you work on it. And that to me, what school is really about. And I feel very grateful that our school actually promotes these kind of qualities. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Lishian. Yes, we do. Um, that is one of the philosophies of why we have this breakthrough talk, actually, to challenge our students to grow and to share their passion with the school community and beyond. So thank you everyone for sharing your feedbacks. Um, we do welcome any feedbacks in the chat too. And I'm sure um, Akash or Ms. Monira or Ms. T would be ready to answer your comments or your questions. Now allow me to just share with you some notes on the host of today's event, Ms. Monira, if you don't mind. Okay. okay. So please allow me to a few brief minutes to share some information about the organizers for today's talk. Fairview International School is the top IB school in Malaysia. The school has won multiple awards, including the International Award in Teaching and Learning, the Five Stars Quality Assurance title by the Malaysian government, as well as being one of the member of the Council of International Schools, CIS. We believe that Fairview successes um, are many, but we would like to um, in highlight, Ms. Munira, the next slide, please. We would like to highlight that among them are our smooth career transitions, our high academic success, and the communication that we have with parents. Moving on at Fairview, we believe our success is a result of our uniqueness through our IB pedagogies, our future proof at FIS series of events, and our Everyone's a Musician program. We welcome everyone to contact us. Um, if you can take note on your screen now, there are multiple channels that you can reach out to us and we would love to hear from all of you. Um, if you look into your chat, I am going to paste the link to the Fairview site for Fairview on Facebook. So we welcome you to post a sharing of today's event um, on the Facebook link there. Okay. Thank you, Miss Cynthia. We believe that today the presentation is not just an hour of webinar or Zoom or presentation, but this is just the beginning. We hope that all of us today who attend Akash presentations today will continue us to support him by like his, his post. We actually posted on our Facebook. So like his post, share his post, and do give him some comments. This is our great support and encouragement to our students. Thank you. Thank you. So if there is 
um, we welcome any members of the audience who would like to give a feedback or comment to Akash's presentation to feel free to unmute your mic or type in the chat box. Um, I will just read out a few of these comments, Akash. Um, okay. Akash Mami is thanking all her supporters and family members for joining. Yes, we, we thank you family members for joining us and supporting Akash. A lot of congratulations going your way, Akash. It was really <laughs> wonderful. Everyone um, enjoying a lot of thumbs up for you as well. Yeah. Hearing what your mommy said that you used to cry every day for a month, this is fantastic growth, Akash. Keep growing. I look forward to seeing you in MYP. By then, you would be a very courageous young man. <laughs> Deshvina, Deshvina. Yeah. Do you want to share with Akash? Deshvina, are you here? Uh, yes. Yes. Would you like to share with Akash your comments? <laughs> I want I I'm actually one of Akash's friends and I and he and he actually gave me a few tips and it was very easy for me to under it's very easy for me to understand from him because um normally I'm not really good in understanding things but now since Akash explained to me everything now I kind of understand him as well. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. Akash, you're a good teacher. Yes. My friend understands you well now, thanks to you. Okay, so um, we have a message from um, Fung Mei, well done Akash, okay, from Felicia and Owen. And again, they're thanking you for the tips. So I think we can call safely call Akash the teacher assistant for mathematics. Right, Ms. Munira? Definitely, absolutely. <laughs> You broke it down very uh, easily to understand to all of us. You also made very nice connections to the real world, to our daily life. And your tips are excellent. You are right. You take one problem at a time, right? Like you said, take a little bite and then you will finish it off. So we take steps in solving several uh, mathematical problems in our lessons and also in our day-to-day -day life, as you mentioned. Uh, it was really enjoyable, and I'm very proud how confidently you've uh, spoken today and presented this uh, talk. It was really, really good. So congratulations, Akash, and I'm expecting more presentations from you in our lessons as well. And I will safely call you my uh, assistant. So if anything will need to explain or work on, you're always welcome to assist. Akash, would you like to invite your teacher, Ileno, to give you some feedback? <laughs> Miss Eleno, would you like to share with us about Akash's growth? Really, I got invited today and I am very happy to be here. So I want to uh, just like Asha to, to know that he had done an impressive job. His presentation is really amazing and it will make it easier for younger kids, you know, to better understand and love math as well. <laughs> Great Thank job, you. Akash. <laughs> this is Isha's teacher, Isha's teacher. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lennon. We also have some family members, Akash, yes. Uh, would you like to, uh, would anyone uh, of you like to say a positive encouragement to Akash? Huh? Yeah, you can freely unmute yourself. Mm -hmm. huh? My grandmother. Hi, Miss Lavinia. I invite the grandmother to say a word to Akash. Akash, Akash's grandmother. Oh, yeah. Hi, Hi, Akash. grandmother. Hi. Hi. Nice to see all of you. Akash, I'm very proud of you, Akash. Really, my maths, when I studied in school, and I say about the six years ago, my maths level is not that great. I used to get good marks, but all the intricate, 
now after my in my 70s i learned from my little grandson akash i'm very very proud i'm very very proud of him like our hindu mythology they say the god the god son teaches that uh, great mantra to the god, lord shiva the lord muruga is like my lord muruga he taught me about okay. magic at this age i'm very proud of you akash thank you so much dear thank you darling i'm really very proud of you thank you thank you to thank you lisha and i must say my grand sorry my daughter in law she's really a very very devoted daughter in law i'm very proud of her also thank you thank you so much <laughs> thank you grand mommy so akash you must be so happy your grandma gave you a lot of um positive feedback and words of encouragement have you visited your grandmother recently yeah every sunday every sunday okay give your grandma a big hug when you see her this sunday she's very proud of you <laughs> okay we would like to invite i think there's an auntie is is madam lavanya an auntie would you like to say something you unmuted yourself just now yes yeah, thank you uh yeah i'm i'm akash's aunt and uh, really very proud of you akash very well done yeah um, yeah and akash actually creates a lot of games so when he comes over on sundays grandmother downward all of us have a lot of good fun and he uses his maths also during these games so um very proud of you akash really well done and you know continue this you are just growing to be an amazing young lad uh, engaging entertaining funny and uh, wonderful yeah and congratulations to both uh, sian and srivi as well i really love all of you thank you ate thank you darling thank oh. you madam lavanya so i would they be uh, we invite any more guests who would daddy. like to share daddy. would you just unmute your daddy oh akash request his daddy akash's daddy could you please honor us with a word or two yes uh <laughs> hi everyone <laughs> anyway, um sorry well done akash um i really enjoyed it and i'm really glad that you like mathematics um i think um uh, both uh, lisa and i are very happy that um you know with the education is getting in fabu and especially the past couple of years when we've been under lockdown when we weren't sure how um his uh, education would be impacted but we're glad to say i think the school has adapted very well and um you know we are uh, we are pleased with the progress that is shown both in terms of his uh, education and personality so uh thanks uh, thanks to all his teachers thank you thank you so much mr sri hari um it's very heartwarming to hear that coming from parents um to to the school um i i think um could i could another I, I, auntie who yes. is unmuting herself yes. i think i see madam soor I, i'm oh, sorry yeah. if i pronounce your name wrongly No problem. It's Somya. <laughs> Somya, yes. yes. Yes, madam. Welcome you to share. Thank you, thank you, Akash. Well done. When I asked Akash about this uh, last weekend, he said maths is about problem solving. <laughs> so well done, well done. And you know, um, my my grandfather and Akash's grandfather loved maths as well. You know, so my. Um, So Akash's great grandfather was a math teacher. So you know, he's bringing down the legacy so well, Akash. You um and and he was asking everyone about uh do you play chess? Akash is my partner when I play chess. He's the one I play chess with. <laughs> so I'm uh, every every weekend he comes over. We we all learn so much from both Akash and Isha. So well done to well done once again Akash. keep it up and uh congratulations also to uh Lisian and Sri Hari well done thank you madam shoma i'm sure there's a lot more games coming up on sunday 
for the family. <laughs> right, Akash? Big hugs and kisses for everybody and lots of games. Okay. Um, thank you, everybody. Um, I would like to open the to the floor audience one last um, comment. Yeah, before I we wrap up today's um, talk. Yeah. Could we invite Miss Selena because just now um, she actually switched on her mic. Selena. Ah, I see. Selena okay. from Australia. Hi, Miss Selena. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Um, <laughs> Welcome you to share with us on Akash. Well, I just wanted to say, Akash, a uh, big uh, congratulations from Australia. Um, I think you did really, really well. And I do a lot of presentations in my job, and I don't think I could be as confident as you. So I learned a lot today. And I'm someone who didn't like maths or numbers very much, but I got a lot of good tips from you, and you did really, really well. So big congratulations from Perth and lots of love. Also to Lucien and Sri Hari. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you. So, Thank you, Ati. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Selena. So Akash, lots of love coming your way. Lots of positive encouragement. I'm sure you're on your path to growing and blooming into a fantastic math yeah. mission. I hope that um, to keep an eye on you as you grow through your PYP to MYP, okay? So uh, to the rest of the audience, thank you so much for attending this talk by Akash. Um, I would like to thank you on behalf of Ms. Munira and Ms. T and the rest of us at Fairview International School, Subanjaya. It's been a pleasant um, talk with all your support and your love for us and Akash. Thank you very much. And we hope to see everyone in our next Breakthrough Talk. Keep an eye out for us in our next series through our Facebook. And as Misty has said just now, please go to our Facebook and like and comment to Akash's presentation talk today. Thank you, everybody. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.